This is a quick how-to on how to use the Fanuc PMC editor by hand if you don't have the Fanuc ladder software. So I'm going to film with one hand and drive with the other. We'll give it a shot. All right, so this is mostly for myself so that I can remember how to run this stuff next time we set one of these up. So the uh, very simplest way to look at this is uh, from system. Go to PMC ladder. Oh, excuse me. Well, actually, hold on. Let's look at it this way. So you have to start here. So you can get there by, by just going to the quick menu and going to setting, or you can go to PMC maintenance, I think. Nope, just kidding. Configuration. Yeah, this screen. So this is PMC configuration or setting, depending on how you get there. This Fanuc writes stuff that way. You have to turn on en edit, enable, and programmer enable. You have to have the e-stop pushed in on the Doosan machines to do that on the Robo Drill. I don't think you do. Anyway, we're going to set these to yes. So they're all ready to yes. You just go over, and you can toggle back and forth with the buttons. And then, uh, and then you can go to the ladder, so I like to use the quick menu, or you can go to system, scroll over, and go to PMC ladder. The way that you edit stuff is pretty simple. Go to operator, edit, not too scary. And then uh, it's, it's like a super watered down version of a PLC. And I don't understand it all that well, but this is what I know. So if I wanted to edit this rung, it's got an auto on a 3900, and it goes to 3901. You go to zoom, and then it kind of zooms in, and it, you're just editing this one rung, and then you can add whatever you want to it. If you don't like it, you can make it a straight line, which means it's just the wire. Um, you can come down here, make a second path for it, so it comes through some thing. Then uh, the next thing is, so you do whatever you want to do and then you'll hit exit zoom, which is, it's going to ask you to save your edits. So. Uh, we won't do that because I don't actually want that stuff. So I'm going to hit cancel edit. But uh, there's there's a lot more here, most of which I don't understand. And most of the time I don't do anything more complicated than just some inputs and outputs. So we're going to cancel edit. It says, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. So sometimes, to make life a little more understandable, you want to name a register. Now this is the reason I'm making this video because I can never remember how to do it and I just did it for the second time today and it still took me 10 minutes to remember how to do it. I'm going to try to ha see if I can remember how to do it on this video. So you go to system. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we have to get out of exit edit. I'm going to cancel edit because I don't want to make any changes. Then uh, you go to system and you scroll over to PMC maintenance. Oh, excuse me. EMC configuration. Uh, clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so you go to system, scroll over. PMC config, you go from this screen to here, then you hit input, and then you go to symbol. Symbol is the one that you want, and then you can go to operator and say, uh, I wanted to rename a new one, so you hit edit and it says do you want to stop the program you say yes and then you can say new entry 
and we're going to do R3900.1 uh, I'm going to hit insert to put it in that box and then I'm going to scroll over to go to this next box and I'm going to call it auto one shot OS So this is a one-shot bit, if you're familiar with Alan Bradley DLC programming, which I couldn't find in Fanix. So A-U-T-O-O-S. And then you say add. And so there's an auto switch, which is what this little guy is. It's going to move our program into auto. Oh, the PLC's turned off. But uh, that is a latching bit. So if you push the button, it turns off, and if you push it again, it turns on. And then that is just a one-shot bit that's related to it, not super important, but uh, part of the system. Then you hit Exit Edit, write Program into Flash, yes, please. And you want to run the program. For some reason, they put the Yes button in a different soft key. Then, from here, you can go to the ladder, and... Now we know which one is the one shot, which is, uh, let's see, that one and that one. And that one's the actual output that we care about, the auto switch. That's the one that will control a bunch of the rest of the program. Anyway, this is how to, like a super quick, cheesy run through of uh, PLC programming, and again, mostly for myself. Thank you.